I'm Elizabeth Dole. I'm president and CEO of the Elizabeth Dole Foundation, caring for military families. And it's a privilege to be here today with home and family to have an opportunity to talk about the challenges that caregivers of our wounded warriors face today. And it's a special privilege to be with my good friend Jim Williams of Easter Seals, and they're doing a marvelous job for the caregivers. Well, thank you, Senator. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Williams with Easter Seals, and you're on the set uh, with the Senator talking about the critical needs of our caregivers who are helping their wounded warriors as they come back from war and adjust to, to being at home with what they've dealt with uh, serving uh, our nation. And so we're working together yes. on how we can meet that critical need of such a huge population. Absolutely. It's a, about 5.5 million caregivers when you look at all war eras and uh, the fact that so many of them have uh, very difficult challenges, providing medications, uh, overseeing rehabilitation, providing injections, uh, trying to prevent triggers from occurring that could set off a, an episode that could last for days, uh, also trying to manage the family finances and, and uh, uh, legal needs, and many of them are so young. They're just uh, in their 20s and 30s, so it's very challenging. It is. It's a joy to be able to work together. To, well, it's a joy to, to work with you. and. When we see these young people and the isolation they feel, their soldier comes home from war very different from what he or she was like when they left. Missing a limb with a traumatic brain injury with a host of other kinds of issues. And for us to reach out to them and help them, get them the care that they need, show them how to care for their wounded soldiers is so important. Right. And there's so much work to be done. It's just great to be working with you. And here on this set to be able to talk with American people about how important that is. Yes, and to urge people to, to really try to reach out and uh, find those families, the caregivers who are in need of help. Uh, just things like mowing the lawn regularly or helping with the kids or uh, providing some food to take to them or doing the grocery shopping. Also looking uh, in their meetings, social meetings, church meetings for caregivers who might uh, really need that extra helping hand. It's a very serious problem because of all the challenges. You know, thank you for making that point because there's so much that people, neighbors and friends can do to help these veterans and help the families. And it's simple stuff. Make a home-cooked meal. Uh, give a family an hour of respite where the caregiver can go to the store, go, you know, do whatever, go to the gym. Those little simple things that make such a difference for people's health and well-being and for the whole family because this is about the whole family, not yes, just indeed. the one individual. It's, it's multi-generational. It affects the children as well. So we need to think about the, the kids and what they're going through and just do anything we can to help. So we ask the American people to pitch in and help out. That's really important to do. ElizabethDoleFoundation.org for cues on help, go to the Easter Seals website, which is simply easterseals.com.